But I'm, I'm, well, I'm gonna take just like this. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Blue Proton. It's the Argtech Wi-Fi and Signal Range Extender Kit you can see here. I am not going to show you how to install this. There are a billion YouTube videos out there on how to install this. Yes, I did shoot the video just just because I shoot everything, but I don't want to. I don't want to show you how to install it. I want. To, let's just talk about it and talk about the the range that I saw out of my mod. And also, I've got one tip for you that nobody, I've, I've heard nobody talk about when it comes to this mod. And I'm going to share that with you, and we'll talk about my range in a suburban area and why you would want to do something like this with your Phantom uh, 3 standard. So let's talk about my area. I live in a predominantly suburban area. It's on a golf course, so there's a little bit of open area, but a lot of trees a lot of houses. You know when you open your laptop Wi-Fi and about a billion access points pop up? Yeah, that's probably my area. It's not quite that bad, but there's a lot of Wi-Fi noise. And the DJI Go app tells me that every time I fire it up. I've got my range estimates from the stock controller. I also used a, a parabolic add-on that was uh, fairly inexpensive, and we're using the ArgTech mod, which you do have to open the case, and I was a little leery about this. So this leads me to my first tip, actually the biggest tip, and I'm not even going to put it at the end of the book here. It's right up front. Go to eBay and look at an, a secondary controller for your Phantom 3 standard. There's a lot of folks out there that got the Phantom 3. And they've put it in a lake, and all they're left standing with is their controller and a big empty box. And a lot of heartache, mind you. So, bless their hearts, they're selling all those controllers on eBay. Now, I was able to pick mine up for around 50 bucks. I have noticed the price trending higher but you can dig around i'm going to put a link in the show notes it's going to take you to an ebay search if you use that link then i'll get a little kickback to help me with my channel do that now be wary that someone hasn't done a failed blue proton argtech mod and make sure you ask if it has been modded if it looks beat up or dirty or anything but most that I've seen out there are pretty pristine looking because someone was, you know, a little, little fly happy and flew it right into a lake or into some trees and just destroyed the drum. So 50 bucks and you can mod the thing to your heart's content. That's what I did. I put on the ArgTech. I put on a tablet uh, mount and I still have my other controller, brand new pristine, just sitting there waiting to, to be used. The controller, all you do is go to the DJI Go app and there's a little provision in there to link the controller. You do that, you you kind of turn the drone over, there's a button in there. You press that button, it takes about 30 seconds, it will relink and you're ready to go. You can even do, I've done this between batteries. So I'll fly it with the regular uh, controller, bring it back, swap the batteries and then swap the controllers and fly it with the arg tech and you know do range tests and whatnot so it's very easy to do okay so let's get down to some results and uh, some things i'm happy with and not happy with with the arg tech or the blue proton i'm happy about the range extension it really does work it really does i was happy that i could increase my range in a suburban area mainly i was getting 800 feet with my stock controller and with this, I will show you at the end of the video, I'm getting a lot more than that. I mean, tons. Uh, disappointing. Yes, there are some things that there's some drawbacks about opening your own case and pulling off RF cables. You take a little bit of risk when you do this. Now, if you have the second controller, man, you're good to go. You are good to go. Don't even worry about it. But I honestly feel like my connections could have been a little better. I think that some of the... Um, some of the parts were a little spaced out and they are very, very tiny. 
But having said that, even though I had doubts, I got great ranges. Now, I was not getting the range, you know, the three miles like some guys got on YouTube. And I, I don't even know where to take my drone in order to get in that much of a Wi-Fi free zone to get that range. But I was getting very good range. Now, that was with the panels. It also comes with Omnis for both 2.4 and the 5.8 in the middle. I was a little disappointed in the Omnis. I did not feel like they performed as well as I thought they would. And I really wanted to run just Omni antennas with the Arctech mod. Now, I think I will do that. But I think I'm going to search out a couple of diff a different set of Omni antennas. So that's what I'm going to do for those. Let's get to the actual distances. So let me throw this table up here for you. Stock, I was getting about 800 feet. Now this is in a suburban area. This is surrounded by Wi-Fi and trees. With the antenna mod that is the parabolic reflector, I was getting about you know 2,000 feet. This is pushing it. This is losing signal and bringing it back. With the Arctech, I got out to 3,200 feet. That is awesome. Now, of course, on the day that I do the good flight for the Arctech, I go out to a farm field. My screen recorder doesn't work. So I do have screen captures of the, the Go app here, but 4,200 feet feet. I actually got it a little further than what you see on the screen. 4,200. That's a good range for me. I've never been out that far and I do feel like I could push it further. That's it. You've got the ranges, how I performed. And of course, it's going to be different for everybody. Everybody is not in the same, you know, dirty Wi-Fi zone that I'm in. I would absolutely recommend this mod. Distance is good. Distance is fun. And when you get commercial, you got to be able to push your drone out to multiple distances. You, you just have to be able to do that. So I absolutely recommend this product. It's at Amazon. Use the links below. Please use the Amazon link and the eBay link and get out there and get flying.